Uh, first of all, I come from Moldova, yes. from uh, Kishino. Uh, I'm coming from a, a non-traditional family, and I'm also coming from a mixed marriage. My mom is Roma, my father is uh, mi mi a mixture of Russian and Romanian. Uh, as a child, I could hear people uh, telling us that uh, they are gypsies, even though my mom was a, uh, a professor, even though I am coming from a family, intellectual family. Uh, the neighbors or uh, my mom's colleagues uh, who were jealous of her success being a successful woman uh, were only using this opportunity to offend her or to use any negative terms uh, uh, against her ethnicity. So even though I was not uh, directly uh, subject to it, I, I could witness it all around me. I'm really disappointed, especially of the Roma families who can afford uh, education for their children, but they just choose to keep them at home. And I've heard a lot of reasons that they try to protect the children uh, from not being discriminated in the school and so on. But again, I think if you balance the, the importance of education and uh, against the other reasons, then uh, education should prevail. Because only through education, as everybody is saying, and I'll just repeat it, uh, you can achieve something in life. You, you can know your rights, you can know how to use your knowledge and so on. Uh, other Roma girls uh, watching us and realizing that uh, they also can uh, achieve a certain step in their life and they can be proud of being first of all women and secondly uh, Roma and being a Roma woman uh, it's not different than being any other uh, woman in the world. So I would really encourage them to, to to do uh, their best in life uh, and uh, my message for the Roma women in the world is to, to do the change but to start from themselves and to ensure that this change will have an impact on, on the next generations as well and starting with their children of course.